guys, Shebear 1000 here. Going to do a little vlogging with you today. It's Tuesday. Got to go to the doctor tomorrow, so I can't do anything real stressful today. So, thought I'd hang out with you guys today. Uh, got this light here, or porch light. Um, it is a motion light, but it's kind of weird. It, it, at nighttime, it kicks on, but it's like a, a like a light glow. And then when it catches movement, it kicks on full brightness. Uh, since she washed the house down the other day, it hasn't worked. So, I mean, it's an outside light. I can't see water getting in there. It could have, but uh, I don't think it popped a breaker because everything else is working on that circuit. So, I'm just going to try. I don't know. She says she thought it takes a different kind of bulb. But I'm going to try a bulb in it and see what happens. Um, this is a crystal clear 100 watt bulb. I think we bought these ones for her um, uh, Easy Bake Oven. But, let's get the top off of this. Every time we kick the camera on. Let's get the top off of this and change the bulb. See, we'll kick it on and see what happens. I'll see if I can, like, cut my hands over it. You know, to, to get it to kick on. But, I got it turned off right now. Uh, I didn't put this light up here. I don't know who did, but it isn't right. I mean, it's okay, but it's just not uh, you know, just I don't like things like that. You know what I mean? So, so I'm thinking it's just a ball. A little bit of dirt in there, but, but if it's not, that'll give us something to do. <coughs> Figure out why this thing's not working. All right, let's go ahead and we'll flip the switch on. Try to cover it up. Usually they'll kick on if you. I think this is the motion sensor. And I think down here is for the light. But I may have to get my. We may have to take this off and see what's going on with it. So, I mean, this looks like it was burnt a little bit. You know, it's real black down there, but. I don't hear anything in it so all right I guess I'm gonna take this other bulb I'm gonna try it in a lamp or a light in the house and then we'll come back out and we'll take this down and, and uh, see if we got powered to the light itself I'll check out with my voltmeter hang tight let me grab some stuff okay guys so I checked that light out in the garage the ball was good Let me make sure this powers off so let's take this down like I said everything else on that circuit is working there's a damn lizard under there go on get out of there okay so, whoa, there's another one. Scared me. He's missing a tail. Alright, so, that could be an issue. Uh, see, that should be the ground. What's going on here? You guys see that? Alright. There's the ground. Alright, 
Now let's uh got my volt ohm meter here. This is cool. This thing here. It's also it's mostly for a car. You got tack and dwell meter, you got your dwell for your two cylinder, four, three, four, five, six, and eight. It also does temperatures and uh, it does your RPM. There's your tack. So what I want to do is I'm going to set it on volts. Okay. I'm going to flip this on. I want to check see if we got voltage. So it's got a nice little stand with it that you can use it's got a little got a nice stand got a place you can put your wires it's pretty cool so uh, I'm gonna see if I can hang this so you guys can see it too Okay, so we're getting power to the light. I don't know if you can see that. It's right around 100 and 121 to 124 volts. So we are getting power to it. So I guess the next thing to do is we're going to take this off. We're going to take it in the house and see if we can dismantle it. Find out what's going on inside there. Um, I don't know if the if the sensor went bad. Uh, let me shut this off. It's right under here is the sensor, right there, and it's looking pretty grody. So let's go ahead. I want to take this down. All I'm going to do is, you know. Not sure what the red wire is for but it is not being used okay so this one's already disconnected this is the ground okay before I take it in I'm gonna knock all this junk out of here see that okay and then uh, I'll kick it back on when we get get into uh, get into the garage. We'll get it up on the bench and work on it. So I wanted to show you what came out of this this light right here. That's a lizard egg. See it? It's been hatched. See that? Lizard egg. Okay, back to the task at hand. Okay, guys, we're in the garage now. Go ahead and take, this is your sensitivity here, um, which it was all the way up, like that, which kind of, uh, every once in a while, not every car that went past, but some, some vehicles that would go past, I don't know if it picked up picked up their headlights or what but if a car like I would come out to smoke a cigarette and the light would be on and I'd roll back the footage on security cams and uh, it would just be a car going past or a truck whenever you know not all of them but every once in a while a vehicle would go past and this thing would kick on so but she thinks she may have water damaged it which is possible but she's washed the house down before and never had an issue with it uh, like this before but that eye right there on the bottom uh, it looks like it's uh, this is the motion this is the eye for the light if you guys can see that it doesn't look great 
Let's take this off, see if we see anything burnt in there. But the, the issue is that um, I know the light wasn't on because it was daytime. But, you got to think, there was still power going to it, because we never shut the switch off, right? So, sometimes you can see water damage. I mean, it's going to get a little water in it. These things are water resistant, not waterproof. Uh, so, I don't know if I can get this out of here. A little uh, tiny stuff down in here. here I'll show you that. It looks like maybe right here. See that right there? Get off. Let's see if I got any alcohol. I don't know if I got any alcohol. I got some peroxide, but. Go ahead and take this out. I mean, it's it's already broke. I don't know a lot about this stuff, guys, but I do know how it works, which helps a lot. But I don't know what makes what do what. You know what I mean? I'm just a just a redneck from Guernsey County, Ohio. You know. down these things I don't know what But I figured, now it's already not working, what's the worst we can do? Make it not work worse? <laughs> no, you know, it's just, there's, there's the sensor. This is the, yeah, this is the eye here the motion sensors right here this is for your light and dark which if it was a motion sensor wouldn't be no problem because I'm pretty confident I can put one in it because I've got one but I don't have a light sensor which is right there um, I don't know if it's got a bypass that you can just See right here, it says, um, I know it's upside down, off. It says hours, so you can go three hours, six hours, dust to dawn. And it's set on dust to dawn. So, um, this over here is the minutes. It does have a test on it. Um, probably maybe switch it see these switches don't want to move I was gonna say maybe switch it over to test and just flip the light on and off until we got another one these things are expensive guys but I'd like to get this out of there
at the other side of it. Like I said, I've never had one of these apart. Okay, well, I was just going to say I don't see any more screws. There's a screw right here. Man, get my smaller Phillips. These purple things down in here are capacitors. Um, if they blow, like the top of them will like be who be domed over. And these all look good. So the caps, I think these yeah these capacitors are all good. From what I'm seeing, but it's working now. I guess what we could do, uh, there's a little spider in there, damn it. You ever get the feeling you should just leave things alone and buy new before you get bitten up? He's fucking crawling around down in there. Okay, so I guess I'm going to take this outside. I'm going to hook it back up real quick. And kick it on during test, and if then if that works, then maybe I'll try to clean some of this up. Uh, I don't think I've got any alcohol. I have used peroxide, but it doesn't dry up as fast as alcohol. So there's the light bulb that came out of it, which we know is good because I tested it in here. Let me take us outside and see if that if that worked or not. Okay, guys, so. This is the issue right here. The one that had all the green stuff on it. Okay, so I scraped it off, but it's not going to work. Uh, getting power on one side, but not on the other. So what we're going to do, until we can get another light, let me back you out here. I'll show you what we're going to do. We're just going to run it as a normal light. I'm going to clip these off right here. And that will do away with this thing since this is no good anymore. Now we were getting power to the sensor. Okay. Uh, but I know what you're thinking is yes I can solder them two together and work all the time. But I don't like doing that. I can just clip these off right here. And I'll trim those back and we'll just run it as a regular porch light clean it up a little bit and I'll just run it as a regular porch light until we can get another one so I mean, these are pretty expensive so it could be a little bit but uh, uh, that's the issue um, she was right it is water damaged but it's not her fault that's not just from one time I mean, we got hard water yeah but that's that's from over time 
excuse me, over time, you get condensation in it and stuff like that. Um, it can't be helped. It's an outside light. All right, so let me get this cleaned up, and we'll take it outside and put it on. We're back. Let's get this thing hooked up and see if it works. Um, as a regular light. Now, I do not have the circuit breaker off. I know that. But this is just a light. So, I just got the switch off. There's no power going to this. I'm here by myself. I know no one is going to turn the switch on on me. Okay? So, but if somebody's in the house, let them know what you're doing. Put a piece of tape over the switch. Keep people away from it. Because if I shut the breaker off, it's going to do the same thing this switch just did. I'm going to be out here working on it. No power going to it. It's the same thing. A lot of guys will disagree with that. And that's fine. But I myself just turned the damn switch off. And it does the same thing. Okay. Now, see this ain't the right mount for this light, so that's why it turns like it does. All right, I did, like I said, I didn't put this light up, but when she got the house, you know, she had nobody. She had to rely on whoever she could get to help her out or pay to do these things. Well... And they just do them half-assed. Just, okay, it looks good, you know. Just don't touch it. That's okay. She has done a lot of work in this house. And uh, when we got, the, got together, the doorbell wouldn't work. So, I got the doorbell working. For her. It works fine. It lights up. Maybe I can get this a little tighter. I doubt it. Okay. All right. Now, let's back you out and see. Whoops. I said out. You ready? Let's see if this light works now. There we go. A lot of people would have just threw the whole light away. But that'll work. You know, when we let Bruno out, we can flip the light on. This is only a, uh, what is it? 60 watt bulb, I think. So we could probably just turn it on at night and leave the damn thing on. Uh, so she feels more comfortable. The only thing is, like if we go somewhere and it gets dark, come back, the light won't kick on for us. But that's okay. At least we have a porch light. If somebody has to knock on the door or whatever, we can turn the light on, look out the window before we open the door. Um, you know, which I don't do that. I just open the damn door. I probably shouldn't, but... Uh, so anyway, so that's... We, we did clean it up a little bit, but... So it does work now... It's just not motion activated. It doesn't have the timer. It's not light activated. So, at least we have something till we get a new one. Let's try to find. I'm going to charge you guys up and try to find another project we can do. I just, like I said, I can't do a whole lot because uh, I got to go to the doctor tomorrow. So, um, so anyway, let's find another project to do. Just an easy, quick project. Okay, I just hosed this off. Let's see if it'll fire up real quick. Hell yeah!
hell of a go-kart engine or a mini bike engine. That wasn't really a project, I just hosed it off, so let's find something else to do. Okay guys, we're in the backyard. I'm gonna kinda do an old start. I can't do a cold start because it's not really cold, it's like 77 degrees, so we'll do an old start on this simplicity tractor, see if we can get it to start up. I just put some gas in it. So let's see what happens. Good sign. It was out of gas, so it might take it a minute to pump up. Yeah, the carburetor's dry. A little bit of fuel in there. Let's keep cranking it for a minute. It is pumping some fuel up now. I can see it in the fuel uh, the fuel filter there. Some, it smells like rotten eggs. That battery was cooking. I don't think the battery's any good anymore, but let's uh, well, let me move the tripod. Let's take it for a little ride around the yard.
check to see if the lights work. One of them does. Pretty cool. Might have an issue with the uh, with the carburetor, maybe flatten out a little bit. I did pull the head off this thing. It did have a, a valve that wasn't closing all the way. Had a piece of carbon under it. Uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and put this on a slow charge and put it on two amp. And I'm gonna let this battery charge for a while. I flipped it on to 200 amp uh, to boost it, so. Believe it or not, these weed eaters run. That one over there is mine. You guys heard it run. These two will run. Uh, they just need lines, primer bulb, crap like that, and they'll run. So I need to get them going here pretty soon. Now, I don't know why someone has got this one. Look at it. They got it on upside down. So I don't know what, what the deal is with that. But I need to get... I want to keep this one. Uh, the other two will be for sale. Those are cheap. They'll be like... That one will be like a $25 one. This one will be a $20, $15, $20 $15-$20 um, So there you go. And as you can see, I need to get some weed, weed eating done. So oh, I thought I wasn't recording. Yeah, you got all this trailer, man. I got to get started on it. I got the uh, the chipper out front for sale. I got to get started on this. Cut it down. I'm only gonna make it like four feet wide. Uh, maybe even three feet wide because this is never going to be on the road um, other than behind the tractor so yeah I'll make it a uh, hell I might 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 meet it in the middle three and a half feet but something like that uh, four feet still a little wide uh, I think I'll probably just go three feet but yeah that's pretty cool uh, once I get it you know, I mean, it's just, it is what it is, but we'll build, we'll build a trailer out of it. I'll probably take all this off and I'll cut the center down first. This is five feet now, I do believe. Um, anyway, I'll, I'll find the center here because this, this is one piece here. That one and that one right there is one piece kind of comes around you can kind of see it up there well not over there but and what I'll do is I'll find the center and then I'll take like six inches off of each side bring them together and uh, I don't think I'm going to butt weld them uh, that one I might be able to butt weld it and then weld it right directly to where it's at this one I probably won't do that too um, this one here, you know, I'm, I'll probably put a piece of steel in between it and then weld it uh, to give it some extra strength. That one there, because I'll be able to, to weld, like, right across the bottom, the bottom there on the back and on the front, on the bottom of the sides. 
and then butt, butt weld it around. So that'll be strong enough for that. This one here, I don't know. Might be able to butt weld it, but we'll just have to see. I may, you know, put a piece of angle on it and weld it. Just, uh, it's not going to be hauling a whole lot of weight. So we'll just have to see. But it's definitely going to be about four feet. We'll just have to see how wide it is once I cut it down and see how far out the tires stick. Uh, that's just too damn wide. He was, I think he was building it for to pull behind his truck. But, you know, there's no, there's no springs. You don't want to do that, you know. That thing would be bouncing all over the fucking road. Uh, behind a, our little tractor, it's, it, you know, we're not going to have to worry about it. So, all right. Well, let's see what else we're going to get into. Okay, guys. Just want to say thanks for hanging out with me and, you know, doing a little vlog and all that stuff. Like I said, tomorrow i got to go to Gainesville. Uh, there's some filming I'm going to do on the way back. Uh, and uh, I'll get that uploaded for you. Some, uh, some old buildings and stuff like that. This clock. i got a video coming up on that. I think it may be the next video. I'm going to talk about this clock in my next video and what's going to be going on with huh. and what's going to be going on with that clock so you don't want to miss that one uh, we're going to do some things to it I got some little LEDs we're going to put inside there I've got some, uh, I need to put some probably going to put some plexiglass in here and we're going to clean it up nice maybe put some shellac or something on it and make it look real pretty so again thanks for hanging out with me and I got some food on cooking real slow for monkey she'll be home here in oh an hour or two so that way she'll have something hot to eat and uh, I'm gonna say she better admit the man a legend I'm gone for now don't forget to comment give me a thumbs up uh, subscribe if you already haven't and make sure you Click the bell icon to get notified of more videos whenever I upload videos like this. So uh, I've got a hell of a playlist. Go check my playlists out and uh, have a Shea Bear binge. Watch them all day long if you want. So I don't know what's going on with that thing. Alright, so thanks a lot guys. Bye bye. Have a good one.